New numbers from Ipsos show there is no clear consensus on when Canadians think vaccine mandates should end. For everyday activities like dining in a restaurant or seeing a movie, 20% of Canadians say those mandates should end immediately, while another 11% think that they should end by the end of the year. Almost a quarter would wait until 2022, and 16% would look to the WHO to declare the pandemic over. When it comes to traveling, 23% of Canadians would wait to lift mandates until the end of next year, while 20% would wait for the go-ahead from the WHO. Another 21% would like to hold off until infection rates are negligible. You can see that the things that people are uh, most comfortable with are the things that they're probably going to be doing more anyway. So, for example, going out and dining in a restaurant, people are we already know are experimenting with that right now. And, uh, you know, when you add it up uh, before the end of the year, 31 percent of us saying that we, we would be prepared to do that, comfortable with it and shouldn't have a, a vaccine mandate governing that. Uh, going to work, uh, we see that, uh, you know, up to 46 percent of the population, nearly half of the people we interviewed said, you know what, uh, I think we should be getting over this probably by the by, by the time we get to the end of the year. So um, on things that people are more comfortable with or things are more familiar with, uh, maybe even things that they've already tried, they're prepared to go ahead. I think it's actually uh, more driven by um, people's familiarity with the activity. So if people could see themselves in a work environment and maybe already have been in a work environment um, uh, to this point, uh, it's it's an easier it's an easier thing for them to uh, to get by. Uh, going out to say to a uh, you know a dine in a restaurant or go to a movie, people are already experimenting with that right now. They see what the experience is. They may have you know also gone through it and have come out healthy, so they're prepared to give that a shot. But when you start getting to things like going to hospitals or flying uh, you know on a plane or uh, considering what incoming travelers might be doing, people are a lot more reluctant and uh, see that timeline going out further. Yeah, as we've seen throughout uh, the pandemic, younger Canadians tend to be a little bit easier going when it comes to things like safety, mandates, um, uh, more open-minded about uh, you know experimenting with different types of activities, uh, mainly because probably they feel that they're you know this is something that's probably going to affect them less than it's going to affect other parts of the population. But that doesn't mean it's universal. There still are an awful lot of young Canadians who are reluctant, but compared to older Canadians, they're certainly more open uh, about going out and trying things. Uh, the other group that we see uh, a big gender discrepancy: women. Uh, definitely uh, more safety conscious than men and more reluctant to get engaged. And finally, when we look at regions, uh, the, the province or region in this country that seems to be uh, the most ready to get going on the, on the widest number of things seems to be the province of Quebec.